First, let's find the Black Market Merchant, starting from the uprooting the Rock Rats quest. We then simply head north into the forest, much like my last video on how to find the strongest weapon in the demo. Be sure to check that video out as well, if you have yet to do so. By simply heading west, you can find the Black Market Merchant here. He will only unlock his shop when you have liberated most of the map. There are quite a lot of possible locations to choose from, but I will show you the easiest, lowest level areas to liberate for the minimum requirement of the quest. You have to beat every single battle I am pointing to on the map. It's a lot of battles to beat in the short amount of time given in the demo, but I will be showing you my speedrun strategy I use for every fight. I also will be making a video on how to optimize your Gambit commands to make your battles go by much quicker. Subscribe to see it next. The hardest and highest level battle will be this level 10 battle. Before I comment on the gameplay section of this video, I need to let you know that all my recorded footage is on expert difficulty. You will thus have an easier time doing what I do when playing on a lower difficulty. I start off every map by placing two units to guard my base, while my griffin flies above all obstacles to head straight to the boss. Our main character is a good unit for defense, with a supporting unit in the back giving covering fire. To give supporting fire, make a witch or archer as the team captain. My griffin team consists of Joseph with the King's Blade, a knight cavalry, and, of course, the Griffin Rider. These teams will handle most fights, but I also switch the knight with an archer if the map has a Griffin unit guarding the boss. And as you can see here, my Joseph team does 358 damage. That really is an insane amount for such low-level characters. It's only thanks to optimized gambits that I am able to pull this win off in one round. Now, Let's watch the fight in its entirety to see how it works. With the minimum requirement of liberated areas finished, we now have access to the Black Merchant. Keep in mind that he only deals with you at night. These are some of the best items in the game available for purchase. I highly recommend you snag his Carnelian and Lapis Pendant, but don't forget to leave 30,000 gold left over to purchase the absolute best item he sells. This Idealist's Hand Mirror lets you respect any of your characters and even change their colors as well. It's truly a shame he only sells you one of them. However, there exists more black merchants in every region of the game, so you will get a chance to purchase more in the future. But since there's only one at the moment, I highly recommend you use it on either your main character or your homeboy, Joseph. I prefer to set my growths to full offensive and keen for the maximum amount of carnage. And as always, like and share this video if it helped you out. More Unicorn Overlord videos are on the way, so subscribe to see them as soon as they are released.